How's it going guys? Winter Kills here and welcome to another episode of the testing sessions. This time around uh, we're going to be playing uh, Pure Mech Knight uh, post Eternity Code featuring none other than uh, Gearsu the Orcist Mech Knight, I believe is his name is in the TCG. Um, I believe in the TCG here in at least North America the Eternity Code set, physical set itself, being delayed a bit uh, because of certain uh, happenings. Um, but I believe Europe has access to it as uh, normally scheduled. Um, but either way, I wanted to sort of, uh, as this series will allow us to do, go through some random matches on YGO Pro and just sort of give my overall thought process as to how I would operate and run the deck, uh, you know, from a play-to-play -play standpoint and also going in against other people's boards as well. Now, I realize Gearsu is an expensive card, so I do have another build uh, that basically can accomplish what Gearsu has accomplished or will accomplish. Now, this combo, uh, basically, again, it does the same thing pretty much that Gearsu allows. It just takes a bit more cards, but it is overall a lot cheaper. So if you're looking for a more of a budget variant to play Mech Knights, um, you know, being able to use Lib and things like that without Gearsu, this is a way to do it. But we're going to be playing uh, the Gearsu build today just because um, Gearsu is just absolutely fantastic. There's no... Uh, beating around the bush there but i want to go ahead and mention a quick shout out to our sponsor over at imperium duelist if you guys are interested in picking up any amazing play mats sleeves dice deck boxes etc etc you can check them out down in the link in the description you can use that discount code winner kills 10 off to save 10 percent off your entire order and uh, help support the channel in the process and also that uh, first link in the description is a affiliate link to tcg player which means if you Click that link and buy uh, cards like you normally would off a TCG player using that link. I will receive a small portion of the revenue of that purchase. So if you want to help support the channel just by, you know, shopping on TCG player like you normally would, that is a great way to do so. It would be greatly appreciated and thank you in advance if you do decide to support the channel in any of those ways. Also consider hitting the join button down below uh, to become a member of the channel. But we're going to go ahead and get into some games here. And uh, when we find our first opponent, I'll be back with you guys. All right, so it looks like we found our first opponent here. We'll see if we uh, win die roll or not, or if we'll be going first or second or not. Uh, and it looks like we're probably going second, and we're going against Dark Magician, so I'm not super surprised. This is uh, YGO Pro, and this is Dark Magician's meta. But I'm going to hold the Ash um, until I see something a bit more uh, threatening. Um, but yeah, basically, uh, Mech Knights with Gearsu, um, a lot really changed. I mean... The core strategy of Mech Knight overall doesn't change too much. Um, basically, uh, the thing that changes is the, the deck's ability to go uh, first just drastically uh, increases. I'm going to go ahead and actually burn the Ash here, um, just because he's going ahead and tribute off uh, a monster. And you know, for that, Dark Magic Circle is fine. It's not a guarantee whether or not he'll get a card off of that, so that's completely fine. He gets another Dark Magic Circle. That's, that's no big deal. Um... Yeah, and he's going to set one, and that is his turn, unfortunately. Um, and all, one thing that sucks about, uh, you know, playing Dark Magician is that I feel like um, I feel like one of the best cards for the deck is just so darn expensive, the Magician Souls, that, like, it's just really hard to uh, attain it for a deck like this. But I don't know. Overall, our Nibiru are not doing too much here, but I'm going to do none other than set the secret and uh, go ahead and use purple here and see what he does. Um... I'm going to go ahead and grab Gearsu, because as it stands, we can do the full Gearsu combo. Um, well, and it's nice because purple clears itself off the board, so I find a lot of times using Gearsu, uh, or purple to get Gearsu is nice, because again, uh, purple removes himself from the board. And as per usual, we're going to send the World Armor to the grave, and then we're going to use the other effect to get a token. We'll play a token here, and a, and a token here in the continuous, same column as that, because we can be pretty safe to know that that card isn't going to go anywhere. The set card is a different story. Um, but we're going to go ahead and link into Lib, since we have that World Legacy card already into our graveyard. Um, we're not going to put uh, Lib here, because we already have a column established, and we can establish another column here if we want to. Um, but uh, we do have the ability to use Lib here, and go get another World Legacy card directly from the deck. We're going to get Succession. And Succession is going to revive uh, the World Armor. Uh, and that is going to net us an additional search. Uh, plus get us this body on board, which is pretty nice. Um, I, I I know this deck plays traps, so I'm going to grab Key. I know Key can be uh, key can be pretty good here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and play Key now. We're not going to add back a Banished Mech Knight, but we're also going to follow up and play Memory. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and summon out... Um, mm, 
Going for uh, the, what is it? Uh, the blue here, not going to be too good. Um, so we're going to go for Indigo. And uh, we're going to go ahead and link off uh, this and this for Morningstar. Uh, we can use Morningstar's effect here. We'll discard the other memory. We don't really need it. And he's going to go ahead and scoop there, uh, assuming that there's probably not much he's going to be able to do about this field. We're going to have um, a pretty good lockdown. Um, Could have gone for... I was probably going to go for Whispers off of that. Um, that way we'd have ability to lock down monster spells and traps. We lose the memory in the process. It's not too big of a deal. Um, but we're going to head into game two now, where I can only assume that he's going to go first again. Um, we really don't have much in the way for uh, too much... I don't even have a full 15 card... A side deck right now, so that's probably something I should fix going into the next game. Um, but uh, I'm not even going to actually side in this particular matchup. I really don't. I mean, he could also make us go first. Um, I wouldn't be too, too surprised if that's something he made us do. Um, so I'm going to actually take out the two Nibiru's since I don't think Nibiru is too great against this particular deck. Granted, uh, Phantasme isn't either. Um, I would be really surprised at all if he, if he ever actually performed a Link Summon. So, um, I'm actually going to leave the Nibiru's in. Our side deck really not too fitted uh, for a deck like this. And you can't really always have a perfect side deck for every occasion. Um, that's just sort of Yu-Gi-Oh! sometimes. But we did draw Nibiru again. Um, would rather have drawn Nibiru than Phantasmic. Because like I said, I don't think he's ever going to go into um, a link monster and if he does then uh then i i'm wrong i'm just outright wrong but either way we'll wait and see what happens here he's gonna add um i don't know what card that is i think it might be a ritual um illusion magic is that this card right here secrets of dark magic um he's gonna fusion summon the dark magicians once per turn if a spell trap card or fact is activated uh, you can draw a card then if it was a spell trap um you can set it, and if it was a trap or a quick play spell, you can activate this turn. Start to try, uh, you can special in both Dark Magician Girl, Dark Magician from your hand, deck, and or graveyard. Okay. Interesting. Activate Soul Servant, and then gets to draw a card, and then he gets to set it and activate it. Okay. Alright, so now I'm seeing how this card works here. So maybe, uh, I mean, I think... He's only summoned twice, so if, if we get to Nibiru him, I'll be actually pretty surprised. Um, this Nibiru may just sit dead in our hand, but again, this is one of those decks where we might not ever, ever use the Nibiru, and I, I really didn't want to, like, oversight. I think just the, the Heavy Storm Dusters alone would be nice, um, as is. We draw a purple, which is huge. Uh, we don't really know what his other sets are. We know he has Magician Navigation, thanks to the log, because I almost forgot. Um, which isn't too big of a deal. We basically have to worry about one banish um, happening here because of the dark magic circle. I believe that's how navigation works. It'll summon one from deck and then one from hand or something like that. Um, so this, I think the way I'm going to play, play this out is to set this over here. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and special summon purple. And we'll see what happens. Um, I'm going to activate purple here. Uh, because I believe, I'm not sure if Circle will activate on a different chain. Um, I'm not entirely sure. It might, it might actually activate right here. Either way, we're going to have to play through this one Banish, um, regardless. Okay, so Purple will activate on another chain. That's completely fine. Or the, uh, Circle will activate on another chain. I figured it might. I wasn't entirely sure, though. That's a little real-time uncertainty. Um... Okay, so he can go ahead and banish that. That's completely fine. That's out of the way. And he's basically with Eternal Soul set us, uh, gave us an opportunity to board wipe him. Uh, so he gets to draw a card. Um, and then if it's a spell trap, he can set it. Um, if it's a quick play spell uh, or trap, he can activate the turn. So he drew a monster, we can assume. Um, we know he still has navigation. Uh, but we have Gear Sue, which is really good. Um, so I'm going to normal Gear Sue and see what he does with that. We're going to use Gearsu. Still going to do the same old shenanigans and see how far he lets us get. Because uh, we resolve Gearsu. We uh, we do a lot with that. We're going to set that over there. Because we can assume that the Dark Magic Circle probably isn't going to go anywhere for the time being. Um, we have the World Armor and Grave. Uh, we could make uh, Galatea and go into Ding Gearsu if we wanted to. Uh, you know, easy access to spin a card. That uh, might be problematic. We could get rid of this to clear all of his monsters. But 
We don't want to do that just yet. His monsters are serving us well here by giving us, uh, you know, columns to work with. We're going to go ahead and get Succession, uh, and then we're going to use Succession. Um, and we're going to keep this column here open because we want to be able to uh, clear the Eternal Soul, which will act as a board wipe once it gets destroyed. We're going to use this to go get Memory, since Memory Secrets is probably the baseline two cards you want to have together. At least in my opinion, I think having Secret and Memory is a good cover all going against a lot of decks. Um, but now we'll go ahead and Special Summon. We do have one Mech Knight in Grave, which is good. Um, we have plenty of opportunities for Columns here. So I'm going to Special Summon this here. And what we can also do is set the Secrets here in the center and Special Summon this here. So now we have the opportunity to essentially pop uh two spells and traps we're gonna need of course to get another uh you know mech engrave um so that's gonna go through destroying all of those which is completely fine he gets to activate the dark magician um which is fine he can go ahead and summon out uh two cards that essentially don't do too much uh he's already used dark magic circle which i assumed it was a once per turn um it's been a long time since i think anybody's played against dark magician uh regularly other than online this deck seems to be very very popular online i'm not entirely sure why that is um it just it just is i don't i don't really know how to how else to explain it um but now uh from here we can go ahead and link into morningstar we'll link those two up i don't really want to use this discard effect there's really no reason uh to do so um battle phase we can't clear everything I mean, we can. This can clear this. Um, this can clear this, and we can attack for 2k uh, with the Morningstar. Um, mm, but I'd also like to clear the Dark Magic Circle, which I guess we can do with Lib. So let's just go into the battle phase uh, and swing over everything we possibly can. Run over that. Uh, and then we're going to hit uh, this. And... Uh, we're going to attack directly with Lib, and then main phase two, we're going to make Avermax, uh, spin back the circle. Um, which I think he might have, no, that was the last game that he had the double circle, I believe. Um, probably not, the, yeah, because he got Magician's Navigation, I believe. Uh, so now we're going to link into Avermax, which is a pretty darn good card to have. We're going to use Lib, um, and we're going to put back uh, this card here, because it's a pretty good card for him. And we're also going to set this, we're not going to activate it this turn, we don't need to. Uh, we have Nibiru in hand, which is, you know, not the greatest, but I guess it's better than a sharp stick in the eye. And we're going to hand it over to him and see what he has as a rebuttal. We have the opportunity to have several monster negates, um, but he has secrets. That's fine. Not much we can do there. Um, we could have gone uh, and actually discarded. Uh, and actually, don't think I ever used Lib. No, we did use Lib set effect for succession. I, I thought for a moment that I did. Um, what does this card do in the graveyard? I actually have no idea. Um, let's see. Uh, you manage this card from your graveyard. Draw cards equal to the number of Palladium monsters or Dart Magician and or Dart Magician Girl. Different names on the field and in the graveyards. Okay. Um, so he just draws two. All right. That's not, uh, that's not too bad. Um, finds another circle. Okay. I'm starting to sweat a little bit. I'm starting to sweat. I'm starting to sweat now. Uh, there's probably... I, don't, I think we're okay. I think we're still okay for the most part. I think we're alright. We have purple coming back. I don't think we're going to get OTK'd. Um, I don't think this deck OTKs. The thing is, Circle is a card. It says tar it target one card your opponent controls and banish it. So it does target. So Avermax is inherently safe. Um, we're inherently safe from that, which is nice. Normal or special summon. Okay. It, yeah, he had multiple, uh, multiple, certain multiple circles, but he did draw and you know dig into the another circle, um, which is like this deck's only form of removal. I'm pretty sure it's not the only form, um, but uh, might as well be. Actually, he has no other way um, to do anything, so we're gonna take full advantage of that, uh, and we're gonna summon out another purple here in the end phase, and we're gonna use this purple right now to go get. Um, uh, a blue. We don't really need Gearsu right now. Um, I suppose we could have summoned Gearsu to actually dump uh, the World uh, Legacy World Chalice because that would actually give us a live uh, search, um, you know, starting out our turn. Um, but it's a little too late for that right now, as I did not think of that. So I'm just going to add blue. Um, we need a way to uh, search 
Uh, key. Key would be really, really good here. We draw Avarice, which is fantastic. Um, we're just gonna bring these cards back. Uh, let's see here. We don't. Act, we can't actually resolve Avarice right now. We're literally one short. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use this defense position purple. We'll get that out of here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and grab Gearsu. We'll use Gearsu's normal summon effect. We'll get that uh, that chalice uh, to the graveyard. I, I, this is why I like, I know most builds I've seen at least play Gauntlet, but I, I wanted to play the World Chalice in here because I think it's just a really good card because it leaves Gears to still be able to be used later on, um, at least for that normal summon, the Foolish effect. Um, at least sending a meaningful target. You can send himself for some reason, but like uh, sending an actual meaningful target that can, uh, you know, advance your game state uh, in the future, I think is pretty uh, worthwhile. So we're going to special blue. We'll use blue. Uh, we're going to go ahead and search... Um, Search another indigo. We don't have a really an, a reason to get red moon, uh, red moon, um, because uh, he doesn't have any uh, monsters for us to pop. So we're gonna go into uh, with these two right here. Into this, we're gonna discard the indigo eclipse, and um, we'll see if he has a response. He has phantasme. Um, sure. Okay. We'll get to draw three. Take your draw three. Take it and enjoy it. Take your draw three, my friend. Let me adjust my mic audio here so it's not super omega loud. Um, Phantasma is not a big problem, though. For us, it really isn't. Um, I'm worried about... I'm honestly more worried about Circle than I am uh, his uh, two setback rows. So I'm going to grab Whispers here. Um, let's see what we have in our extra deck. Uh, we have Nightmare Phoenix. Um, I don't think I, I don't think I played memory this turn. No, we didn't play memory this turn. Um, but now we're going to activate the avarice and we're going to put back, uh, a blue lib, a morning star, a yellow, the world armor. That should be good. Let's we'll see if he has a response. We draw a yellow and instant fusion, which is really, really nice. Let's see what we have in grave. We still have two indigos in grave, so that's, uh, we have a free banish target essentially. Uh, so we're going to go clear the circle. We're going to keep picking this card off because it's basically how he's going to try to combat whatever it is we have. And I don't really see how he's doing that at this point. Um, yeah, and he's just going to scoop there. We have so much advantage. We haven't even gone into the battle phase yet. So uh, we take the match there pretty easily, as you might have expected, against the, uh, the, 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 the pure, not the pure Mech Knight, but the Dark Magician deck. So we're going to go and find another opponent here and uh, see, what, uh, see what happens. Again, I do apologize if my commentary is not the greatest or if my gameplay lacks a little bit because I'm trying to sort of focus between two uh, talents, I guess, if you want to call them that, but trying playing well and also not sounding like a uh, super boring... Uh, person i guess i don't know let's see how this next one goes all right so i found a game after about 10 billion years of waiting for an opponent because people keep joining and leaving um <laughs> i don't know what is it like literally every time i try to record this video i always have this problem but when i stream and i play i have no issue finding people to play and it's like the same i'm like recording this at around the same time i would be streaming we're playing against machina um, and it looks like he has ended on the most insane board imaginable. Um, well, you control level 7 or higher machine monsters, your opponent cannot target level 6 or lower machine monsters control with card effects. Also, their monsters cannot target them for attack. To face up machine monster or monsters you control is destroyed by battle with card effect, and target one machine monster you give or add to your hand. Okay. Don't care too much. Um, I'm gonna set. Set. I'm not even gonna bother going for purple. I'm just gonna poke for damage where I can with green. Um, and sort of leave the little, you know, monster negate setup that we have. We'll poke in. We have Phantasme for a rebuttal. We also have Nibiru, so I'm not too worried about it. This is a much more conservative take on this play. Now, granted, we could have done other things, but we're, we're going to play it safe. He didn't seem to open too well, so we're going to keep the pacing, I guess. Um, there's that Machina reformation, um, which is fine. I'm going to discard and search. Card, one card, add two Machina monsters with different names in your deck to your hand. Or you can discard one Machina card to add two Machina cards with different names for the deck to his hand. Um, we're not sure what the difference is in either of those effects. Um, yeah, but either way, he's going to go for Gear Frame. He's going to try to use its effect, which, uh, lo and behold, we're not going to allow. If we can help it. 
Unless he has Ash. Um, so yeah, we're definitely going to chain here. Chain link three. So this will make the, uh, obviously the effect negation live once we summon out whatever mech knight we decide to do, which is definitely going to be Indigo. And he has Magnet Reverse. Um, sure. Magnet Reverse, that's fine. To summon out the Citadel. We're going to make sure we negate the gear for him. Either way, he's getting his card out. Um, that's totally fine. He's on two summons for Nibiru. We're still okay. Now, granted, I could have gone for purple, um, but we're like we're in a weird spot. Um, you know, we, we we want the multiple monster negates for the specific reason, because if we didn't, we would just got our whole field wiped, um, and also took in a bit more damage. Um, eh, well, I mean, I guess this card has to destroy itself, anyways. Um, he's only able to clear over green, which is totally fine. Leaves us a column. This is going to bounce back to our hand during the end phase. He has Iron Draw. He can only summon one more time, I believe, for the rest of the turn. And Supply Squad. Okay. This is interesting. This is a very interesting uh, Machina deck. Machina Air Raider. I've never seen this card before. Must be new. Uh, discard other Machina cards, especially this card from your hand. And your opponent's uh, turn. Quick fight and turn with your to control. Especially when Machina runs from your deck with a... You destroy the target monster. Okay. All under Nibiru. Um, and I just happen to be drawing Indigo Eclipses after Indigo Eclipses. Um, hmm. Now, there is a play. It's not really a good play, but uh, this really isn't a play we can make here. Um, hmm. Well, yeah, we're really not in a good spot. Uh, supply squad actually matters a lot here because we're in a really simplified game state. Um, I suppose going for purple would have been better. That's probably a mistake on my behalf. Um, let's just summon this here. Like, we could tribute, uh, for World Chalice and link off an Almrosh or use this effect, but if we were playing the other bill, we'd be able to use that, but we, we're not going to be able to do that here. Um, I'm just going to pass. I'm just going to pass. And I, I, I really think this is probably a lost cause, this game. Um, Machina Irradiator. There's really a lot of new cards that I just don't know what they do. Uh, let's slide over to negate this. I'm gonna chain that, and we can't, we can't negate both effects. But at least he's clearing that off his board. And then during the other turn, turn machine monster you control and your money control is plus one. Okay, so he summons possessed storage. Okay. There's no more special summon. You can target mocking monsters graveyard except itself. Special summon defense, but it cannot activate its effects this turn. He's gonna summon out gear frame. And he also gets supply squad. <laughs> and he gets. Alright, we're just gonna surrender. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna surrender there. Let's just go ahead and go into game two. I'm not even gonna side. I'm going to go second, and uh, hopefully we just open up better than we did. Granted, like, we probably... Like, he was doing that all that during our end phase. Like, I think that, I don't think Nibiru or Phantasmia was going to be live particularly during the next turn, if I'm just being realistic. Um, we could have held out, probably. Um, but uh, I'm not even going to bother. We're just going to go into the next game here. We have a double Gearsu. Uh, I don't know how much this deck Link summons. Um... Still relatively new. I know the, the structure deck actually just came out recently in the TCG. Um, I still don't know the exact extent of what at least pure Machina uh, does. Um, but we'll see. I don't I don't know if there's like an FTK with this or anything. I, I think I might have seen something that does that, but I, I, I could be wrong. Um, goes for gear frame. We have this fat rock in our hand, which is great. Fat rock is nice. Here again, X. I believe that's his fourth summon. Adds the possessed storage. Sets one. Is he gonna be just shy? And supply squad. Look at this like this is probably gonna end his turn, which is fine. Um, if he's ending on just that, it's not too big of a deal because this is actually nice because we don't get to um, put a monster on our board, which will prevent us from using Gearsu's other effect to summon tokens. Um, so we'll normal summon this. We'll try to activate it. Um, see if he doesn't have if he has machina overdrive turn machine monster uh we destroy the target monster 
For one machine monster, you control a special one Machina monster with a different name for your deck. Hand or deck, and you can transfer to monster. Okay, so this isn't negating anything particularly, but he's getting he's getting that card, which is pretty good, I heard. Um, now, assuming he's going to destroy this card um, to blow up everything we have, uh, less attack than equal to that monster, um, we really only can special summon uh, the Indigo. Which I don't want to do. And I don't think we're going to resolve World Armor. So I'm just going to send this to be safe. Um, and, and try to resolve its effect next turn. Um, because this time I'm not I'm not going to scoop here. We're going to we're gonna see if this Phantasm and Nibiru will do anything for us. I mean... If he wants to stop this. If he wants to stop us from making more plays. He's going to have to use the Citadel effect here. Otherwise, uh, you know, we get, more, we get more pluses as it were. Let's go ahead and link into Lib. We have a World Legacy card in our graveyard, so we might as well. We'll activate Lib. We're going to go for... Since he's letting us... Um, like, I kind of want to go for... Uh, part of me really wants to go for um, Secret. Because I feel like having one Monster Negate for his next turn would be pretty good. Since he's going to clear this off his own field. And he's really not left with much. Um, hmm. Of course, we could memory for purple. We can't use memory because we're setting it right now anyways. Hmm. Yeah, it's a card we're not going to be able to use this turn anyways. So I might as well just go for secret. I'm just going to go for secret here. We'll set it right in the center column because I don't think he's going to get rid of his supply squad anytime soon. And we'll special summon this. Uh, we'll go into battle phase. That's a once per turn, so he's already resolved. I don't want to do that, but okay. Accidentally clicked the effect. We're not even in battle phase. Through the token. And we have to hand it over. As unfortunate as that is. So it's still a good call here to send the World Chalice to the grave. Um, Because we're, we weren't going to resolve the the gauntlet effect. And this does something in the graveyard as opposed to uh, gauntlet. And he has the extravagance. Which is really good. Can't stop it. We don't have Ash. We don't have Phantasma and Nibir though. So we'll see how good those cards will be in this situation. Um, it seems like every time I've had Nibiru, both these games, and not Ash or DD Crow, it's just been under five summons, so this could be pretty rough. Um, he is using Gear Frame. Hopefully he doesn't have Magnet Reverse. Let's see what is in our graveyard. We don't have a good level five that we can revive. I mean, um... Mm, I'm not... I am going to special summon the level five or higher. We might as well. Because uh, it'll threaten any extra deck play he wants to make. Which is fine. I guess in a simplified game state. At least for us anyways. So we'll see. We gotta negate the gear frame 100%. We'll put this here. Because I was worried about bringing a non-mech knight back on the field while we have secret. But we're only going to have access to one mech knight this turn anyway. So uh, it, it's, it's fine. Limiter removal. <laughs> okay. What is going on here? What an interesting... I mean, I guess he's going to get a draw in the end phase. we we'll take a whopping 1,200. He has Call by the Grave. Interesting. I guess it's a good thing we got our uh, World Chalice out of the graveyard. He's going to set one. Citadel summoning itself now. And still no Nibir or Phantasme. Heals Goodman. Um... Let's normal summon this. Let's go ahead and use this fact. We're going to send Gauntlet here. Now, this is actually... This could be pretty good for us here. Because if he uses... He's called by the grave. Must be nice, my man. Must be nice. I gotta say... You are pretty darn good at having those Yu-Gi-Oh cards. We're going to go for this. We're going to go for Dengirsu. Dengirsu is going to say hello to your card. We are going to send that garbage to the graveyard. Back to the recycling plant where it belongs. 
then we're gonna summon our blue and plus plus well not really plus um but you know we're gonna get a, a, a card off yeah you're gonna you're gonna destroy this dude is that what you're gonna do and banish this card from your entire three machine monsters or banish and or your grave or something deck then draw one card okay that's fine whatever whatever just get it off the field yes we're gonna protect get it off the field oh oh i guess we're not i guess i guess okay that destroyed that's removed itself okay well i mean clearing the supply squad isn't such a bad idea we're not i don't really want to invest um blue sky into the play right now especially if we're going to be resolving it for zero um i'm just going to swing in with ding Girsu. um i mean i guess i didn't really pay too much attention to this card to be totally honest but um it, it's really not too overly big of a deal right here let's see what he has we still have the fantastical dragon which i don't think is gonna rock this game unfortunately that's gonna bring back gear frame i imagine does this get its effect on normal or special no just normal summon okay rank four that's three summons will we get to the coveted fifth summon i feel like this guy is listening to every word that i say um And he is trying diligently to play around. Okay. 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 We're digging deeper. I swear if he ends his turn. Okay, there it is. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> there it is. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait a little longer until he tries to go into the, the to the battle phase here. Um yeah, end of main phase. No thank you, sir. Good riddance. I don't think he has a way to negate, um, which I mean, it's not that I'm seeing. Yep, yeah, sure, you can you can do that. That's fine. You can destroy my gear suit. He's going to the graveyard anyways, and we'll put this right here to make a calm with our secret. Please end your turn now. Please, thank you. Please and thank you. That's all you have to say is please and thank you. Uh, we're gonna use this. That card has been chilling in our graveyard for a very long time, but rightfully so. We're going to grab Memory. Um, that way we can set up Whispers, uh, Memory, and Secret, which is really good. We're going to special this. Um, we're going to search... Mm, we can search Purple here. Let's search Purple. We always want to get Purple in play if we can. We're going to link these two off into Morningstar. Um, actually, what do we have? We don't have Gauntlet in Grave. Um, but we have Gearsu can get gauntlet and grave but there's really no point in bringing it back um let's do this i'm just trying to think like do we need to discard here for morning star i mean we already have succession whispers and memory so we don't really need to um let's see uh let's special purple and let's use this effect to go get indigo actually we might, we might not want to get indigo here because we need a way to mm, we can still get indigo because we can succession back uh the Dingirsu, um, and just remove this, this, this massive token that is looming over us. All right, so we're just going to set Whispers. Um, we're going to go ahead and, I really don't want to bring out Dingirsu, like, just quite yet. Um, we actually might just be able to OTK, though, if we do that, so let's do that. Let's bring out Ding. And uh, we'll send this. Yeah, I think we can just OTK if we do this. That's totally the the play. I don't know why I didn't see that. I'm just my brain is just fogged. I guess. Send that to the graveyard. Special summon this. And now we go for battle phase. I don't think he has anything in his graveyard he can use. Although I could still be very, very, very wrong. We'll hit him with that. We'll hit him with a 24. Not using any effects. And we'll hit him lastly with Morningstar. If he has something, this would be the time to use it. And he does. All right. Very good. So we've managed to take this to a game three situation. Um, his deck. I really still don't really have a grasp on what he's trying to do. I mean, granted, Nibiru I know hurts him. That's for sure. Um, wouldn't mind having a third Nibiru in against him. Um, Phantasma we've seen time and time again be absolutely garbage. So I guess we could leave in the Avarice still. 
Um, still, like, he goes in the action deck, but very, very little. Um, really just not much else. I mean, Heavy Dust Storm, I guess, could be decent. Um, that's really all I got. That's really, I also have a 14-card side deck. I forgot to even put in uh, like an actual 15th card, but it's fine. Totally fine. He's making us go first, which is good, actually, because... Um, I did put in, uh, Heavy Dust Storm, which is more of a going first card. Um, now, bare minimum here, we do have, uh, a play. It's not a good play. Um, but we're gonna normal the DD Crow. DD Crows are great. So our hand, any hand traps are in this deck, because we can get Almirage. Um, we can also get Purple on board, because... We can't unfortunately resolve Gearsu here on turn one. Um, well, we didn't open Gearsu. If we would have opened Gear Suit to begin with, we would have been in a really good spot. Like, we would have been able to play going first, no problem. But we uh, we didn't really get to Gear Suit in the way we wanted to. Um, and we would still get to Gear Suit, um, but it's it's not going to have uh, the effect it would. Because normally if we just start with Gear Suit, we can resolve, resolve Blue Sky turn 1. But we, we, we have monsters on our board, uh, which I guess actually we could do this. Um... We already normal summoned. That was a total... I just totally psyched myself into doing that. Um, that was a really good play on my behalf. Really glad I did that. Ash the Upstart Goblin, sir. Ash the Upstart Goblin. I want you to do it. Please don't Ash it. Never Ash Upstart Goblin. Alright, World Legacy Key. That's fine. Um, we're going to special summon this. We're going to make Morningstar. I don't know why I did that. I really apologize for that. Um, we're gonna discard this. Goodbye, Gear Suit. We're gonna add memory. And then we're gonna we're gonna play all these. We're gonna set this. Uh, we're gonna activate this. Um, no. We're just gonna do that so we're safe from evenly matched. And any traps. Um, I I started thinking like, oh, we could normal Gear Suit and then tribute off Almirage. Uh, but I I apologize greatly for doing that. Don't know what was going on in my head there. Uh, the other thing to do would have been to have added uh, Indigo uh, and then summon Indigo and then possibly ditch Key for probably like Secrets or something, but evenly match is not a bad thing uh, to have here. It's just unfortunate for us that he has no evenly matched. Uh, Reformation is good. I don't know how well he'll be able to play through these three monster negates. Um four if he misplaces his cards, which I don't know if he'll do. But we'll see. Summons gear frame over there. We're gonna start with uh, Secret. We're gonna attempt to revive blue. Let's see if he has DD Crow, which I don't he has Call by the Grave. What, uh, what would you would you look at that? Call by the Grave. If he has Ash, I'm actually just going to freak. Does not have Ash. Okay. Thank God. I say this man literally has everything. Will we dead draw Phantasmi Nibiru so many times? I should have sided out the Phantasmes uh, and the other, and the, like going into the game too, but. Like, it's just, uh. Still hard to tell, because I feel like he could Link Summon. And it, it would it wouldn't be that surprising. What's this card do? Discard. Um You can turn one machine monster control special mocking a monster from your deck or from your graveyard within oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and negate that. That's that that is what we're gonna do. We don't want him to get Citadel back. Citadel is a pretty good card. It's a board wipe against us. Unless we have a way to stop it, obviously, but we if we can help it, let's let's not it's a monster. Must be nice extravagance. Call by the grave and monster reborn. I wish I was that good. But I mean, if he clears our field, we have purple nightfall. Coming back, we're able to at least establish purple, um, and we can do Gearsu stuff. If we can do Gearsu stuff, 
uninterrupted now that he's blown a call by the grave and he doesn't have he can't hit gear suit with a call by that he doesn't have he's going into battle phase this is funny this is the funniest part i may have failed to read some things this video but at least my opponent has as well main phase two i can only imagine he's gonna do the blow up effect yippee yippee wahoo and there goes all our monsters he clears our board which is fine that's exactly what we want him to do exactly what we wanted him to do because now we can bring purple back but in the same column as this what i might assume to be a trap card or this column um i'm gonna put it in this column here let's see what we draw we draw dd crow which is actually really good uh because he keeps bringing that citadel back which is at least something i'm noticing um you know we don't want him to uh bring that back so we at least have another dd crow to come in clutch here what does this do? Target machine monster you control. Special one mocking a monster with their name from your hand or deck. Wow, there's the trap. It's over there. <laughs> um, sure. Now, there's the trap. So, I mean, I, I don't know what the odds of this being another trap is. So, let's add Gearsu. This card, another mocking it. He doesn't have any cards in hand. Citadel. What is Citadel doing? What is Citadel doing? Can we DD Crow? Uh. Yeah. He wants to special summon it. He wants to special summon it. DD Crow. Activate. Good riddance. Is he going to use Overdrive? He has another call by the grave, but he's using it on DD Crow. I would imagine he's using it on DD Crow. It's pick your poison at this point. Because what we can do is normal summon Gearsu in the same column that Citadel is in. And he really can't do a whole lot about it. Until, of course, we decide to link off and do a non-mech knight. He's using it now. Alright, this is this is gold. This is literally gold. You can't make this stuff up, ladies and gentlemen. You can't make this stuff up. Again, I may have failed to read a couple times this episode, but... Uh, at least my opponent has done so as well. Discard another mod. He doesn't. What is he, What is this other effect? What is this other effect? And you roll a special monster and monster and destroy that monster. Oh my God. Just let me play. Just let me. Just let me play Yu-Gi-Oh. Just please stop. Stop. Stop it. Target one. Okay, he's playing. He's bringing this back. If this card destroyed by battle instead of the graveyard. Target one monster opponent controls destroy that target. For resolving an opponent's monster effect that targets this face-up card, look at your opponent's hand and discard one card from their hand. Yikes. Alright, we need we need some serious, serious firepower right now. Uh, to be able to deal with his field. If we win this game, I would be shocked. Um, there's just so much going against us right now. But there's still so much we can do. Sort of. <laughs> there's still so much we sort of can do. Um. Hmm. Let's get memory. Add that to our hand. Um. I already used the set effect of that. Actually, the fact that we get. I forget, yeah, this is actually really good. We can get memory here. We've already used. We've already used purple, which sucks because I want to get access to blue. But, um, we need another way to get access to blue here. At least with resolving blue's effect. Um, we could grab red moon. Uh, to clear essentially what might be the biggest threat on this board, but like all these cards are just sort of threats. Um, let's, let's summon this here. Uh, we will banish gear so you will pop that we will go ahead and link into this can't use its effect um, and I guess we make Avermax and then we use lib to spin this back and then we just go into battle phase and uh, run over the uh, the process the possess storage really not other than that not much we can do um 
Yeah, this this card doesn't do much on its own on the field, which is good. The old support card, the original like Machina, really really good card, doesn't do too much on the field. Does a lot in the hand. We knew that was coming. This is a shuffle some. This shuffles some back, right? Turn three of your machine monsters that are banished. If you ever shuffle them into the deck, then draw a card. Hope we didn't draw the absolute stones like a gear frame. If you draw, if you drew a gear frame, I will be very upset. Um. But he doesn't have a, a citadel in his grave. To revive with said gear frame, he did have to put that back. So like, I'm banking on the sheer power of Avermax at this point uh, to get us through. Now, we could have, instead of adding memory, um, things like we had to get memory because we had no way to get into Morningstar otherwise, because we already used Succession. We had no other grave artifacts to resolve. Um, yeah, because we just had Gauntlet and Lib, so we, we had to do... I think going for Red Moon there was the, the better choice. Um, we weren't really getting much else. Because we clear, we clear the uh, Air Raider, and then we also clear another card. Uh, and then we also clear we get rid of another card. So that's the way we clear three. I think that's the way we get rid of the most. So uh, I'm probably going to second guess myself a lot during this series. Because I'm being uh, scrutinized probably as I make these plays. Um... And again, all while I'm trying to uh, provide insightful commentary on the deck that I'm per currently playing. Heavy Storm Duster might be... Whoops. That's going to happen probably a few times. We're going to resolve Blue Sky here. Which is going to feel so good. Uh, we're going to use this to go get Gearsu. Um, or we don't have to get Gearsu, but I really would like to get Gearsu. Um, or rather, just Indigo Eclipse. Um... That way we can start negating traps and monsters uh, at will. Um, if this card destroyed battle instead of the graveyard and target one card your opponent controls, destroy that target. Um, hmm. That would pose somewhat of a problem for us. Now, wouldn't it? Uh, leaving that card on the field. Um, he has to target a card. Um, which could clear either of these. I really don't want to... Clear that card just yet. I don't really see a reason in doing so. Uh, we really can't afford to lose key or secret at this point. Uh, I'm going to set this here. And uh, we're going to say go. Let's see what he has. We have that extra monster zone locked down. Not that it matters too much. If he does try to bring in a link monster, though, I guess it is fine. I guess Master of Four had been much better. But it really just depends on where he decides to place his first monster. I guess we should have moved Indigo into another zone, end phase, uh, to cover more ground. Going to use... Okay, I think I know what he's going to do here. He's not going to crash. Not going to crash. End phase, I am... I'm going to use this, end phase. Get rid of that. It's a Magna Reverse. That was pretty good. Uh... <laughs> That's pretty good to get rid of. All right, so now we can make Dingirsu, um, which is a pretty good card, I heard, because uh, that'll basically not target um, and also remove this card. And we also have a purple in hand, so we don't need to worry about wasting a purple, and we're just going to go into battle phase and not risk losing two in Nibiru, and oh my god, I'm actually shocked that we're winning this game. Granted, my opponent did make a few questionable plays, but um, I guess I'm using this now. <laughs> that was an accident. That was an accidental click, but we still have game. We still have game. Attack. And we swing. With the purple for game. Couple of misclicks there. Couple of misclicks. Woo! That one actually made me sweat a little bit, but I, I tried. Listen. I tried, if you wanted to see the bloopers of this video, consider becoming a channel member. Uh, all tier 2 or higher members get access to bloopers and outtakes, but I tried to film two other matches in between this one and the first one, and they, 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 the, they, the first game played out and then they quit. Um, so yeah, that's going to do it for this episode of uh, the testing sessions. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is the current list that I'm using. Um, I think for the most part, it's fine, except I probably should add a, uh, another, 
uh, card to the side deck. And that card, what would that card ideally be? I would definitely want to add a third Phantasme. All right, so I think I'm going to add in just two Twin Twisters for now. Drop a, uh, a Sanctum, because uh, we do have the Trap Trick, so we can essentially have multiple, uh, you know, four Trap Tricks, and, or four Artifacts instead of Trap Tricks, because we can also get Impermanence off it as well, and Heavy Storm Duster. Um, but yeah, so that is the 15 card side deck that we should add. And I, this deck, not just because we played against more back, not super back row heavy decks, but because like this deck in general has always suffered against back row heavy. Um, and I think twin or even Zathion would be good, but like the normal summon is very, very important in this deck now uh, with Gearsu. Whereas before it didn't matter too much because uh, you just play normal summons like Phantom Knight stuff, Sangan, uh, Aperia, Ibli, things like that. Things that were just sort of like beneficial to the strategy for making Columns turn one, but not like super, super important to the core strategy, if that makes any sense. But uh, we played Dart Magician, and then we played Machina. Um, so one kind of not super good deck, and then one... That deck seemed pretty decent uh, for the most part. Very new, um, so I probably misplayed in some areas, but again, so did my opponent. But yeah, that's going to do for this video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what deck you guys want to see next on the testing sessions. Probably going to be doing like Infinitrack Trains. Um, uh, or like maybe DDD. Uh, I'm not entirely sure yet. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you didn't. As always, when we kill sign out, we'll see you guys in the next one.